Everybody knows by now, since it happened in the 1930s and 40s, that World War II worked something like this. The Allied powers, in Western propaganda at least, showing all of the American and British soldiers that bravely fought the Germans, versus the poor Germans who used, at least late in the war, a lot of old men and, and young children, even. In the defense of their capital city of Berlin, the Allies closed in and defeated the Germans, right? It's totally accurate totally true it's history and history is written by the victors so i think we're gonna need some russians though don't you think i mean yeah they've got what looks like some feathers on them which kind of gives them this native american look but don't worry about that or the modern 50 caliber sniper rifles they have the allied powers closed in on the germans and took them out of the war all right but if history was written by both the victors and the losers well you would gain access to a little bit of history that seems to be forgotten because what i think not too many people know is the germans well the nazis they were working on some really secret stuff you know like they had the wunderwaffe as we know from playing call of duty they also created zombies but what not too many people know is those were not the limits of the crazy weapons and the extent to which they would break the geneva convention to find something that could help turn the tides of battle this my friends is one of their creations a lot of people attribute this to a children's story there's a lot of truth to those children's stories this is Huggy Wuggy. And he broke out of a German laboratory, at least for a short time. But eventually, he just started to destroy everybody and terrify them, causing many soldiers to jump to their own deaths. Yes, that was the depth to which he could terrify mere mortals. Now, it's not saying he was smart, but look at that face. That is a face only a mother could love. And honestly, I'm not sure Huggy Wuggy had a mother. But it leaves us asking the question, what if the Germans had found a way to control Huggy Wuggy? Would the Russians and the Americans be able to truly defeat the Germans armed with their devious poppy playtime super weapon? Well, that's the question we're gonna be asking today. What if and how good can World War II soldiers deal with the huggiest and wuggiest of all super weapons. Those bullets sure do a decent job at least stalling Huggy Wuggy. Keeping him from, well, doing what he's about to do now, which apparently is hugging and terrifying enemies of his to death. Where does that bullet casing go? Is he a Jedi? No, okay, that's just the ejection process of that bullet. Okay, I was a little bit confused for a while. Yeah, he's able to absolutely destroy the enemy. I think what the allies need is some vehicles, some armor. Because right now, Huggy Wuggy's able to just destroy him and the German infantry unit are just able to just mop up the enemy. Now this is amazing. We have what looks like a Tiger tank, but is actually an M4 Sherman. <laughs> M250 caliber machine gun on the top. We have World War II tanks in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, which is gonna be great because now we have a target for these bazookas to hit. However, what's unfortunate is the Germans have them as well. Look at this thing. Now, obviously this tank looks so good in gray because it is based off of a Tiger tank. You've got the tank commanders with their cool hats and little glasses. Uh, their, their weapon of choice could have been better, like MG 42s or 34s, but then they also have, oh, there he is again, Huggy Wuggy. So we have this huge land battle. Not as big of a tank battle as Kursk, because obviously we only have four tanks, but it does make me wonder. If we were to put in just tanks and tons and tons of tanks, could we recreate the Battle of Kursk? Obviously, it wouldn't be a tabs battle without some amazing ragdoll physics as this guy just flies across the map. <laughs> He's not doing too good. But the Germans seem like they're able to do and break through even the allied lines because good old Hugster Wugster here is able to just take on 70, what, six millimeter Sherman tank rounds straight to the chest? <laughs> okay, maybe he can't. That looked like it hurt. He got hit so hard, he's just now coming back into the battle. Look at these creepy eyes, man. Oh my God. <laughs> this is why I love tabs. You can watch the same battle over and over again, and you're gonna see something new every time. This guy flew so hard into this wall, his hand got stuck. That is impressive. I think he just got hit with a Sherman tank round or something. So now what is happening is the Germans are breaking through, and now Hugster Wugster there is just 
I think he went down for a little bit of a nap, and now we just have a World War II. Oh my god. A tank battle. This gunner just got knocked straight out the turret. Oh, you're gonna have a bad time. Actually, if you land in that window, oh. What are the chances that the soldier would get knocked out, fly, do cartwheels, and then land in the window of that little Greek cottage? I don't know. But it seems that tanks obviously changed the course of battle. But while many people believe that the Germans had really, really good tanks during World War II, they were defeated by Allied Air Superiority. Oh yes, this is the finest and most modern of aircraft from the World War II era in Totally Haggard Battle Simulator. But one of the things to keep in mind is the Germans are still definitely employing this blue-eyed monster, the Hugster Wugster, who apparently has the powers to what are you doing to that tank, Huggy Wuggy? I'm not sure if you were like transforming through it. It does seem that air superiority is not nearly as powerful because it's amazing that it's just a plane flying with a dude with a bazooka. I'm not entirely sure if they're firing at all, but it looks like planes aren't enough to defeat the German tank menace, especially when they have the absolute bullet sponge that is Huggy Wuggy. This is a little bit ridiculous to be perfectly honest. All right, dude. You've got a bazooka. Are, do we have any bazookas left? Oh my gosh, this is not good. The Allied war effort seems to be stalling out. See, this is just a what if. A historical fiction. <laughs> what if some crazy monster was employed in World War II? That guy looks like he had a bad night of chili eating, but that is a tank round straight up the tailpipe. So I think what is very obvious is the Americans need to employ some tanks of their own. This is what you call combined arms, when you're using air power, armor, and infantry all at the same time. <laughs> These planes suck, probably because they're totally accurate planes. And totally accurate- what is that? Why is that rocket going just straight to the moon? Is this the German, like, V2 rocket program? Now look at that. All of the German infantry are gone. I actually- hold on. I don't see Huggy Wuggy at all. Oh, there he is. I guess- if Huggy Wuggy had fought American World War II soldiers during World War II, I think this is what would happen. He would have eventually gotten defeated, which is honestly good news for everybody. But there is one last consideration, and that is what if you take this big guy and clone him into smaller, more agile versions of Huggy Wuggy? This was the original Huggy Wuggy model found on the Tabs Workshop. They're like as fast as Velociraptors. So imagine being an infantryman and just seeing these things running at you as fast as they possibly can. Is that enough to turn the tide of battle? Well, it was enough to get this American tank to cause a little bit of friendly fire problems over here. And the aircraft seemed to be just good enough to take out the majority of the German infantry. So even with a Huggy Wuggy cloning program, I think it's safe to say that World War II soldiers would not have had too much of an issue. But as you watch this, if you guys have an idea for what you'd like to see in the next totally accurate battle, well, let me know. Because I think while a lot of people have asked for Huggy Wuggy, I don't think he can hang against one of my favorite armies in tabs, and that is the World War II faction, which at one point was teased by Landfall to be a real faction. So a big thank you for watching the video. Pull the trigger and like button if you did enjoy it. And let me know some ideas for the next one. And I will see you there.